Hi, Brad Ward, Ward's Auctions, and it is sale time again. And this is going to be our first live viewing since all the COVID goings on is happening. The sale itself is still online only, and it's already bidding. In fact, we're shooting this video literally the day before viewing, so we're way behind, and we're still actually cataloging one or two more items. But it is, I'll tell you what, if you don't, if, this, if it's not in this auction, you don't need it. There's one of everything. Uh, starting off with this virtually brand new Harley Davidson. This is a factory custom, and they came in a couple, sort of different colors, and we, had, we do have a little video of it running. hundred and three inch right from the factory so it's a factory custom and virtually nothing done to it does have a single seat on it which was after and the single this double seats in the building I don't remember if we're selling it with it or not but it's well described in your catalog 292 and it came from a Saskatchewan estate so as in the catalog it states you're gonna likely need an out-of-province inspection on that one which isn't a problem at all but it is a gorgeous motorcycle then we got a 1926 Chevrolet this thing runs like going to start it during viewing that's going to stay inside the building here and uh, in the last years it's been used for weddings and parades and you know that sort of thing so it's a fun a fun piece to have fun piece of, uh, of uh, Americana if you will and a great conversation piece this mat on the ground just so that we're not ignoring it came out of my truck so this fits a 2015 GMC or Chevrolet short box not well, like crew cab short box so the six and a half foot box or 6.3 or whatever it is so just so you know the reason i th i don't use it is i have a sprayed in liner and and then this on top of it why would i why would i need both some of you will recognize this car this was in the sale about a year ago i don't remember exactly how long could be more and andrew bought it we have a little video of that and it was not quite finished uh, when we sold it before didn't have exhaust on it, so we couldn't run it. Didn't have a uh, dash, didn't have a uh, windshield, but it's all put together. He did an awesome job on it. It purrs like a kitten. Uh, again, full disclosure, you're definitely gonna need a bit of a cold start tune-up. Um, I am an ex-Ford mechanic, actually, uh, but tune-up mechanic, and uh, just by listening to it start, I would bet that the, either the choke's a bit tight or the choke pull-off doesn't open up enough. Those of you that are interested in the car know exactly what I'm talking about. We have the bankruptcy of Wilson Electric, and they were in the ladder collecting business. So you'll see there's a million ladders and some nice quality, feather lights and different heights, and, and you'll see how those are cataloged. Like I said, it's a bit of everything in this auction. Furniture, estate items, sort of semi-contemporary, antique stuff. Um, did I mention ladders? We've got ladders. Huge mirrors. French Provincial, or not French Provincial, this is more of a, but the Dusty Rose. This came from a lady who, uh, she's passed away, passed away now, and she used to buy from us way back in the St. Albert days. I don't think I've seen her at a sale in, maybe not even since we came into this building. I don't remember for sure. But in this room somewhere, there's a floor vase, a little oriental floor vase that still has our old tag on it. I hope they didn't clean it off. Um, from when it was bought in 2001, and I have the invoice for it too in my office. Carpets galore, this is one of them hanging here. Big huge bedroom seat, this is quality. A million drawers in this one. We're selling the Schiffer robe separate from the dresser and headboard. And, uh, and again, that came from the estate that I was just mentioning. Her name is Alice, and uh, I don't want to, I, I don't have permission to mention her last name, so I won't say anything. Cedar line trunks. We're just kind of going to go through everything. Now because a lot of people are still leery of coming out into public and we get it and I'll tell you what if you have any of the red flags that the that the you know common sense dictates if you've been traveling if you've got a sniffly nose um, 
you know, that, you, you, common sense. Uh, if you've got any of those things, then please, please do not come. Uh, you can look at all the pictures. Steve's done an awesome job on the, on the photographs, not to mention the video that we're about to do, uh, that we're doing now to help show so you can view these things without coming in the building. But if you do come in, use your common sense, stay away from each other, don't handle stuff more than you need to. Not going to be a big issue for the, for the bigger stuff, but the smaller where the smalls are. We'll talk about that when we get over to that. This is the one that I was talking about. Lot number 238 Charlie has the old auction tag. Lot number 54 at the time. They were on choice. I don't know what the 250 represents, if that was the buyer number at the time. I'll have to look at the invoice again. It's in my office. This little sideboard, genuine antique. Look at the size. Let me check my, oh, my hair. My God, what's going on there? I'm embracing the COVID, as you can tell. We do have some nice artwork. I should have made a little list. Everything from Rose Lannards to, to uh, oh, I can't even think. I'll, I'll, I'll try to eyeball some as we go by. Rosewood Etagere. We didn't really plan our path on the camera, so bear with us while we just wander all over the place. This uh, gramophone does need some love, but it is in an oak case. So it's a darker finish. It needs to be refinished anyway. And not very often do you find them in oak. So because this one is oak, and you can tell better, you've got nice quarter cut oak paneling or uh, yeah, boards inside there. And uh, so that's nice because usually they're in walnut and occasionally mahogany. And it does work. Now, like, again, like I said, it does need a little bit of love, but... Hey, how awesome is that? You can play all of your music on there while you're locked in the house. Hopefully, everybody's staying healthy and happy. I'm going to show you this here. This was this is a for uh, if you're tr towing a car behind your motorhome, then this is the braking system. So you got the tow bar. Owner's manual, all the mechanism. This goes inside the car to actually activate the brake. So that's the braking system. The brackets to actually go on a car don't exist on this, or not here. But they'd be unique to the car anyhow. And same with the wiring that would be inside the car also would be unique to the car. So, but everything else is there. And it came from a very, very detail-oriented people um, that we have done work for before. So I have no, no doubt that that thing was 100% taken care of. Uh, Ethan Allen server folds over for your, your serving surfaces there. This 54 inch table, probably we've added the leaves to it. Originally, they didn't bring the leaves in. You got one, two, three, four, five, six 11 inch leaves that go in this split pedestal and a 54 inch closed diameter matching sideboard as a separate lot. Uh, very nice to have. The top's been refinished on this. The uh, some nice uh, some nice prints you're going to see some nice woodcuts there. Again, if you if there's awesome pictures on the website, you don't have to come to the viewing, but we are excited that we do get to have a proper viewing. Look at the size of this cash register. I think if you if you don't need that, there's something wrong. Uh, the Cratchit desk. I think it was funny because our Michael. Um, He's an artist, and so he has one of these, and we've sold it here, and we called it a Cratchit desk. And then when the consigner phoned me about this and sent me a picture, she said, and the Cratchit desk, and I just laughed to myself. I didn't tell her that we used the exact same term on the ones that we sold. Some deco, uh, the entertainment unit here, and TV, all works. TV go, does the TV go with it? I thought it did, but maybe not. Antique dresser, a couple of John Deere ride-ons that work. Watch out for this carpet as we go by. We've got a gajillion carpets in the sale, for Persian carpets. We've got this sculpted one on the floor. We'll probably try to find a different home for it by the viewing so you guys don't have to track mud all over it. I'm not sure what the weather's going to be like, but just if it is there, we'll be careful. But we have a pile of really nice Persian carpets, uh, most of them 100% wool. However, there is three silk carpets. There's one of them. I mean, if you've never seen, and a lot of people haven't, they, they don't realize the detail that you can get out of the out of the pure silks and I mean this thing here is so soft I mean that just deserves to be well I'm just saying if you were going to be sprawled out on something in front of a fireplace in your skivvies then that's the one to be in let's see if I can find the other one 
because there's two other ones. But I mean, I guess just as I'm fanning through, you're just getting the glimpse. I mean, look at how many. Look at the sheer volume of what we have. This is a partial silk. Yeah, they're in there somewhere. That's why you come to the viewing. And of course, the, the image is online. Um, welders, we do have tools. We'll get into some of those in the other room. Uh, goodly selection of smalls, rural Daltons. Not sure what the bears are. Lots of oriental pieces. Now, some of them were not online until just yesterday. Uh, they came in late, and, uh, and so we got them online yesterday. The ones before that, though, and we'll talk about that when we get to the other cabinet, uh, came from the university. Here's a nice antique buggy. I think it would go that way. And the wicker buggy. Kind of a neat piece there. Um, as I was mentioning, uh, and I can't, I can't qualify which ones were which, but some of the oriental stuff was in earlier, and it was part, m mostly given as gifts from dignitaries to the University of Alberta, and then uh, sat in inventory for a long time, and then they, you know, they can't keep everything, is, is the reality there. So a lot of it, uh, it came to us. This clock is like brand new, German made. Uh, alarm clock. I don't think it has any miles on it, which is really neat. Very collectible piece. Uh, so don't uh, don't discount that. This frame up top here, that's Tiffany. Genuine Tiffany. Lot number 10. It's well described in your catalog. There's a beaver sealer down there. Uh, all kinds of stuff. All kind of, I'm kind of rambling on. Some accessories to go with the bike. This quad runs and operates perfectly fine. I don't think we have any B-roll footage of this one here. Uh, but we might, after we just sort of shoot this one, we might just get it fired up. We can't drive it out now because we've got all the, the, the room blocked off, and that's, that's our fault. Um, we'll blame Jane for that one. We've got tools along the back there that are from the Wilson Electric. Chop saws, this one's noisy. I actually used it to do something, and it's noisy, so full disclosure there. Um, but some of this Hilti stuff is brand new. Like... It might have been used once, Hilti TE60. I think these are brand new. Uh, we got some miscellaneous lots here. We won't even get into that. Uh, on this motorcycle here, this is a wide glide. This is a project bike. It's not seized. I want to be careful. It's probably not in gear. But nor, nor have we had it running. Uh, evolution motor. It's going to come with all these accessories. Some of it belong to the bike and some of them do not. Like obviously it doesn't, this vintage gas tank is a different gas tank. Two-part gas tank, oil tank, toolbox. Uh, only one half of that gas tank, not sure why. Now this one here though, where's the side plates? Here we go. I am pretty sure this, this AJS, this goes on there. These are the parts for this tank. Good collectible pieces. So you got both of the side panels. And I am 12.5% sure that in that box behind us here, again, I'll apologize for our chaos, you've got parts for the bike too. Again, quite collectible, carburetors and so on, that I believe belong to that one. We're going to sell it all together as a... Whoever's going to buy this project is into project bikes. So, so whatever, that's just the way that is. Uh, this came from Wilson Electric, the HP Design Jet T790. This was in their office, in operation. Again, some nice artworks on the wall. Hopefully you guys can find them online. The adorable propeller. The one up on the wall over there is one I bought in a gun sale a while ago. Uh, this is the baby to that one. Petty points. There's a million uh, needleworks in the sale. I don't remember even seeing this poor little guy. That's, <laughs> it's funny, I've probably walked past it a million times. Now then, over here, more of the military-themed coins. Now we've talked; we had those in the last few sales, and they are from obviously a very avid collector of that uh, militaria. We sold his guns already, and uh, some other stuff for him, and and some of his coins. These are probably the last of them. I, I'm not 100 percent sure. I mentioned the 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 museum pieces, the, or yeah, not the museum, the stuff that went to the university. This is, I've had a couple of people ask me, what is this? They look at the picture and you can't quite get it. This is a very high quality piece of cloisonne. This is a, a newer piece of cloisonne, and it was a gift to, to somebody at the university from a traveling dignitary. And it's well worth you coming to see, again, if you're comfortable coming out uh, at this time. It's well worth seeing, so I wanted you to see that one there. 
Uh, as were these ivory pieces from there as well, I'm 99% sure. And the quality of the carving is uh, above the norm. So you don't want to discount or ignore those at all or miss out on those ones there. And then we also have a writing slope folds open to the to the leather writing surface not uncommon you've got the the uh, the split down the leather and then this opens up thusly and then and of course there's always a little cubby underneath these things here there's even a little bit of herbage there and there's even a secret compartment inside as I mentioned the leathers like that this is a secret drawer here. To be honest, I don't know how to open it. Ah, I see. And then what happens? Then you can pull the drawer out. Oh, two little drawers out. Cool. We'll just leave it like that. And we'll go into the uh, back room, see what we can find. Here's where the, the cabinet we were just at, the counter we were just at, and this one with the jewelry is where I have my most of my concern as far as keeping separation, keeping things uh, so that there's a, a level of comfort. So you're just going to have to, you start off, I say, use some common sense. Um, fortunately, we have the smartest clients on the planet, so you, I don't have to worry about you guys. It's the other people out there that aren't so full of common sense, but tongue in cheek. If, you're, if you know, I don't know, we're gonna come up with a plan. We'll have two people, one over there, one over here. Um, obviously we can't have the usual pile of people at the jewelry counter that we normally have. It's just not going to be an option. So there's going to have to be, is it one at a time, is it whatever. And that's why the viewing is from 11 o'clock till 8 o'clock. You have a long, long viewing so that it uh, allows for more separation. And it'll be less social. You know, usually we, we stand around hugging and kissing all viewing. We can't do that this time. So come in, look at the things that you need to look at or you want to look at, and then get the hell out. So that's going to be the, the, the order of the thing. So this is one area where I'm going to have some, some uh, concern about congestion. We do have appraisals on quite a few pieces, things that are all the way up to about ten or 11,000 in, in that one there, and then down around the two and 3,000, then stuff that's not appraised. But it's a really nice selection of, of uh, estate jewelry and, uh, and antique pocket watches. We had another nice selection from the same consigner that we have been selling for. And... Uh, been a long time client and, and you know, doesn't, um, doesn't blow smoke when it comes to his descriptions and he helps us out with that so that we don't have to be as, it allows us to be, uh, look smarter than we actually are. I wanted to discuss something that's gonna be in the August sale that we are taking consignments for on, in conjunction with Bud Haynes and this is from the same consigner that has the fancy motorcycle and that is a very high-end Winchester ammunition board. Uh, you can see that the, the, they've spelled out a W for Winchester. Uh, later on they did make a, repro not a reproduction, but a, you know, a cheaper version, because these were too expensive to make, that is just printed. It's the same thing, but it's printed. This is the actual genuine real McCoy. Bunch of monitors that are from Wilson Electric, I believe. Uh, two sets of tires, and I know this is a rambly video, but some people aren't going to be able to come. These tires here, lot number 312, are described as being replaced by P0s and we're going to get used for um, a weekend of burning rubber and turning those into uh, rubber particles. The reason I know that is because it, they were mine. So these were for my Camaro. I put new ones on because quite frankly, these are an awesome, these Eagles are an awesome tire for when it's 30 above and more, but in our climate, they're too hard a composition, in my opinion, for the cooler temperatures that we normally have to live with. And so I put P, P0s on because they're just a little bit better. They don't wear as well, but they're better. And uh, I felt more attached to the ground in rain and whatnot. So those were gonna get burned off and then I sold the car. So there they sit. Also from the university is all of these instruments that you're seeing that you've probably seen in the catalog, microscopes, projectors, little measuring doodads. I mean, look at this thing. I haven't even seen this one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, lot number 36. Let's get this cover off so I can properly see that. Is that a movie projector? I think that's a movie projector. To show proper movies. Oh yeah. That is actually way awesome. 
Talk about a conversation piece. Put that in your theater room. If you've got a theater room at home, uh, get one of those set up. This slide rule, Thatcher's calculating instrument. If my dad was alive, I swear he would be buying this one. I, I promise you 100%. And he'd also know how to use it as well. Uh, he used a slide rule right up until the day he passed. And I'm not saying he didn't sometimes use a battery-operated um, calculator, but it was not uncommon to see him in the workshop with a slide rule in his hand. More scientific instruments. Some inventory, these are parts bins. This is all one lot, some tools in that toolbox. Lots of inventory from Wilson Electric. Partial rolls and whole rolls, and they're literally gonna be one lot at a time, one roll at a time for the most part. And uh, so have a good look through those. Some of them, you know, they're no good to you at all, uh, but some of you can use some of those things. Some more tools there, uh, collectibles, more scientific instruments, there's a little small projector. Here's some genuine chintz. Some genuine chintz, Lord Nelson chintz wear there. There's quite a few lots of it, or a few lots of it. More scientific instrument pieces. Uh, another set of tires, this lot number 303 are the other tires for, I believe, the Ford truck that is in the sale. Now, I haven't talked about the stuff that's outside, um, but we have some other B-roll and stuff. And that includes things like a 2014 Peterbilt, which was a personal bankruptcy. It was the, per it was the, it was the bankrupt's personal truck that he used as the business. So uh, quite well taken care of. You're, you're going to be happy to see that one. Oil field equipped and, and nicely done. So Steve does have some video of that you'll see that was shot earlier. We also have the holiday trailer that's outside. So it'll probably just be still pictures for that. I don't know if there's video for that. It'll, all, it'll be in here somehow, though. That's me telling Steve that he'll be doing it somehow. There's the two trucks that are being here somehow, a Chevy and, 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 uh, and an F-150. There's a forklift that uh, is operational. It's not in mint condition, but it is operational. It needs a little love. There is a gorgeous 30-odd foot or 30-foot black car hauler that is just fantastic. That'll be in the parking lot for viewing. Speaking of parking lots, you're not going to be able to park in the parking lot at all. And, park, and everything's a disaster around here. They're doing road construction. We're going to have too many things in the parking lot. So again, the long viewing is going to help. And plus, it's going to be during the day on a weekday, which means that the industry around us is open. So parking is going to be a, you know, I won't say shit show because that'd be rude. Um, what else is outside? Another small car hauler. Uh, it's kind of used, though, so come and have a look at that one. The big black one has 5,200-pound axles. So it's a, good, it's a good machine, that one. And I can't think of what else is going to be out there, but uh, one or two things maybe. Uh, maybe we'll just buzz through. Let's just buzz through here, show the stuff on camera. Uh, everything from violins to pewter to more scientific instruments. These are actual Harley-Davidson hard cases that were probably going to go on the bike because they came from the same guy as the, as the custom, um, but he, he never got it installed, and that's fine. Uh, the printer came from Wilson Electric. There's more parts and inventory over there. There's two job boxes, one on wheels and one not on wheels. And some more artwork and so on. Again, lots of sealer jars, uh, good collectible ones, and they're sold by the box full or even two boxes at a time. So you get some nice pieces there. More oil lamps, more inventory, circuit breakers, hammer drill, uh, a bit of everything. A pair of pliers that are just sitting here. I don't think that's part of the sale. So I think that that is, and by the time we add in all the B-roll, we're going to have a 12-hour video here. So the bidding has already started. Wardsauctions.com, link on there to the online bidding, and that is done through iCollector. So you have to have an iCollector account. There's already a couple hundred people registered for the sale. So if you've never done it before, it's not that bad. You've got to jump through a couple of hoops to get an account with them. If you have questions, just give us a call. The office number is 780-451-4549. Um, and my cell, I don't mind giving you, I use it all the time, except for today I forgot it at home. 780-940-8378. I don't very often forget it at home, though. Wardsauctions.com. The physical address of us is 11802 145th Street, Northwest Edmonton. The sale is bidding now. And then on May 31st, which is the Sunday, coming up just a few days from now, Starting at 10 in the morning, it closes in catalog order every 30 seconds, I believe. If you bid in the last seconds, it does extend the bidding on that item. And that way you can't snipe it in the very last seconds. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to tell you. I think I've rambled on enough. And...
by all means, if you have questions, just give us a call. Thanks for watching. I'm Brad Ward. We'll see you at the sale. No, we won't. We'll see you at the viewing, maybe. <laughs>